in a year of big London restaurant openings, there's no doubt which is the biggest of the year, dinner by Heston Blumenthal. The three Michelin star chefs first major restaurant opening since he opened the Fat Duck in 1995. This is a radically different concept, one majoring on British foods inspired by historic dishes. The restaurant's been open for two days now, so we've come for only, I think, the third service. We're going to talk to Heston Blumenthal himself and also Ashley Palmer Watts, his head chef. And then we're going to try out some of the dishes, so let's go and take a look. You go back in time, a couple of hundred years, it's these periods of time where Britain had gastronomy that was as good as anywhere else in Europe. So to go back into history and time and then take some inspiration, it's not replicating it, absolutely not at all. It's inspiration and sometimes it might be just a spice mix um, or a way a dish is served. But taking that, but not replicating it, because in those days a lot of the ingredients we wouldn't be able to eat. The milk would be um, rancid, the wine would be oxidised and yeah. sour, and, and, and plus the cooking, everything would have smelled of burnt pig skin. So this is about take, going back in time for inspiration, but applying modern, modern cooking techniques. Or, and it doesn't matter if they're cutting edge or cooking techniques have been around for 50 years. Just applying what we know to try and get the best out of the dish and create something that kind of is a nod to the past. Whatever anybody thinks, absolutely is no intention of getting three mission stars here. No intention. The intention, if you look at the room, is to have something which feels like a slightly old-fashioned grand brasserie, but at the same time it's also got this thoroughly modern. There's no tablecloths, there's no carpet on the floor. But want some noise. We want to be doing nearly 200 people. This is not set up as a three mission style restaurant at all. Ashley knows if I had, if I have, if I would have, um, if I could have done it, it would have been his name. Every interview when everybody asked me, no matter my involvement in the development, I'm not here. I'm not cooking here. Yeah. I'm abs I'm, my home is Bray. It's not here. This is Ashley's restaurant. And what happens at the beginning is the Mandarin wanted my name attached to the restaurant. What I haven't done is said Heston at the Mandarin. And absolutely, Heston Blumenthal at the Mandarin, Heston's Blumenthal's, whatever. It's not. It's, it's dinner by Heston Blumenthal. The fear of failure has always been a driving force for me. Never the will to succeed. Um, and I just, I just, it's the thing of not wanting to fail or be last that kind of seems to, which is a bit of a negative kind of way of looking at it. And I'm, I'm, I am my own worst critic. And I, I can apologise to Ash the other day actually. I was saying even now we're looking at this, I'm just going, this, this isn't right and this isn't right and this isn't. But that's not to say there's so many other things that are fantastic. But I just, and Ash knows because he's worked with me for 11 years, so and I do that to myself. I'm always beating myself up because I would never think it's good enough. The risk is that, or the gamble, is that the expectation is up here and what we produce is here. So coming here and doing this with a new kind of concept, and it's in a, it is in a, one of the most expensive piece of real estate areas in the world now, a very grand place, big investment. I bet there's enough people that would kind of like to think this is a good opportunity to give it a kicking. We're kind of mirrored opposites in the sense that Ash's glass is always half empty. Though it's got a lot more positive, but glass is always half empty and mine's always overflowing. So I'm like, right, we can do this. Let's turn it upside down, spin it 17 degrees, and then put it on top of the building. And let's, and let's do that for 7,000 people or something. Here we go. We can't do it. We can't. The meat fruit was a really good example. This is um, really, really light and uh, incredibly Moorish at the same time and incredibly intensely flavoured. Bizarrely, you'd expect that it gets cloying, but it doesn't at all. It, you, you could eat this all day. This is a good example of how Ash and I have kind of, it's one of the areas that we've worked so well together on for this place. It's historic, it's thoroughly, the process is thoroughly modern. We've got, we use, a, we use an unbelievable essential oil. The way of actually breaking down the mandarin skin to make the jelly, the temperature that you have to measure at, really accurate temperature that you dip your set parfait mix in just above the, so it's, it's basically just a little bit uh, below the setting point of the jelly. So as you dip it in and pull it out, it sets the jelly. Pigeons cooked in ale, and then you had pigeons cooked with artichokes. So we joined them together, and it sounded like a good idea, didn't it? This is like Italian shoe leather. This is the softest, most velvety piece of uh, flesh I've ever tasted. And that ale is just one rich, fantastic sauce.
Ashley said this is supposed to uh, taste like Britain. Hovis and uh, such memories on a plate. Can't say it tastes like Britain to me, but uh, it certainly tastes pretty amazing. I mean, that's another knockout dish, that.